I will be asking you as our head teachers to start validation verification of data of our schools. We would want to appreciate each and every of our 23,000 public schools so that we can know and be sure that each one of us has capacity to host the junior school. And where we think that we can share the responsibility with our neighboring school, let's say that. One thing I would want to appreciate also is that my officers at the ministry have informed me that almost 50% of your schools have produced a secondary school. And therefore, it will make it easy for us to share facilities. And such facilities would include our human resource. But the most critical facility is that we shall be socializing our children to basic science. And therefore, we shall require to share some of our laboratories. But we shall also be working with our partners, including our members of parliament, to ensure, as the president directed, that our children are able to access all the basic facilities, including laboratories and books, as we do this particular transition. I urge our parents that it is our primary responsibility as past educators to work with our children. I am a parent, and even ourselves as head teachers, we are parents, and we cannot outsource our responsibilities. We must remain with our responsibilities. We co-parent with teachers. We don't outsource parenting to teachers. And therefore, we must work together towards making our children acquire the values that we expect of them. I, therefore, as we move forward, day schooling will be the direction. Because that's the only way we shall be able to engage with our children. And the first nine years of our learning between grade one and grade nine, the direction that government will be taking is day schooling. And I'm aware this is a critical TOR of our presidential working party. You know, this country is one of the rare countries where 28% of our children are in boarding schools. Globally, rarely will you get any country that goes beyond 15%. Rarely. Even in the African setup, ours is the highest anyway. So we need to start socializing ourselves that we need to be with our children. And the only way we shall be with our children is, to be, uh, is for these children to be in day school environment. So let's start socializing ourselves towards that end. On school feeding, we shall continue to progress. In the president's education charter, the president committed himself to double the number of children who benefit from school feeding program. And I'm sure we are working towards that as a government. Finally, I would want to acknowledge all our stakeholders who are here and ask them that let's work together in delivering the investment that we need to put into our children. The last review on capitation was done in 2020, 2010, sorry, where capitation was kept at 1,400 per child. Sir, this figure falls far below the requirements to effectively run a primary school. Let me uh, take this opportunity to present a case of the operational costs of running an ideal school of 400 pupils, taking into consideration the current status with the
respective gaps. And our proposal at the current rates, in our proposal, we have taken into account inflation rates, cost of living, and the depreciation. The cost of running a primary school with 400 pupils comes to about 3 million shillings per year. This, Your Excellency, calculated per child will come to around 7,500 shillings per child per year. We are also requesting that consideration be given to low cost boarding schools in the Asal areas together with the feeding program in our schools to enable us to realize the 100% retention. Your Excellency Sir, we are also appreciating that the government saw it wise to extend the insurance cover to all our students in second schools. We are kindly requesting your office to consider extending the same to our primary schools. It is our humble request, Mr. President, that just like our secondary school brothers, Capture gets a vote aid to enable the school heads facilitate and support their schools in the association programs, especially in the children council and teacher capacity building. What this will mean is a holistic education where there is efficient management system, pupils success and improved success in quality, which comes as a result of increased investment in infrastructure, human capacity, and development and policy reform. And one thing we'd like to say is that the teacher shortage is a reality in this country. We have a shortfall of 116,000 teachers, and we are happy that even before her date, is excellent the president has directed we recruit 30,000 teachers. I heard the president and the government. I'd like to reassure you, sir, that the commission, as I am here, the entire system is in place, and uh, by the close of the next two weeks, we will have advertised those posts because we have to align with the directive of the president. That one, sir, let's be assured that the teachers will be in school by the uh, month of January as directed by the president. Uh, the PSR allow me to say that uh, these uh, teachers who are taking over the jobs, they are going to bridge the gap that is already there in terms of shortage. And we are going to ensure that the distribution is equitable so that every corner and every school will be able to get teachers who are going to deliver the curriculum as an percent. As a commission, we have already retooled 229,000 primary school teachers and 60,000, I mean 60,000 secondary school teachers. The retooling is meant to en en enable the teachers to deliver the CBC. It is not a one-off exercise, it's a continuous process, and we are going to engage with the ministry to ensure that we work together to have a seamless flow in terms of delivery of curriculum. Curtis. Curtis, when one of us is speaking, this is when we should give the highest level of respect. When one of us is speaking. Thank you. The achievement that we have and how to do is on our school. So, equal opportunity so if you trans transform one child according to the number that we have, a boy child does, even a, a, girl, a girl child is able to do it. So, From 230 to 280s.
Andi, terus. Cari. Just like to invite. Um, let me. To my to my boss, I want to put that out for one day. Let's talk about one of the smart people and also the best person. The reason why we want to be here. And the process will show that the best. I'm the son of Henry Ogola. Uh, I'm happy that I have my bosses with me today. And uh, the person was just a few years ago, maybe many years ago, like some of you. There was that one set of call to the We have also put readers and our study books into Edison as a platform. And as we are integrating to the next level, we want our children to have the e-books. And I want to assure you, if you try Edison, you will be home. It will be a complete learning uh, environment for your school and for your uh, 